Thanks so much for joining us for another BBJ Linen video tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn the art of swagging an overlay. One thing to keep in mind, in this video we're demonstrating swagging on a serpentine. We decided to use a serpentine because so many people have questions about swagging on it. And it's really only when you are using a serpentine that you have to swag the undercloth. Remember that this type of pinning and this swagging is the exact same thing that you will do on a banquet table, on a cake table, on a standard seating table. And a few little tips are, on a banquet table, you're going to use a base cloth that is a 90 by 132 or 90 by 156. On a round, you're going to use a 108, a 120 inch or 132 inch round. And then you're gonna center the overlay you are using over the base cloth, and you're gonna use the pinning process shown and explained on this video. Step one, place the base linen on the table. Center the linen by making sure the seam runs down the center of the table and making sure there is the same amount of fabric as the left as the right side. Step two. In step two, you're going to place your first pin. Find the center of the cloth. Do not start on the end of the table since it's always going to be easier to find the center for swagging. Step three, this is the pre-measure step. Before you pin, do a pre-measure to find the point at which you should start swagging. You wanna raise the linen at this point until the bottom of the cloth hits the floor. You're going to customize the tablecloth so that it hits the floor all the way around. You might have to adjust the point where you grab a few times in order to get the linen to the floor at the right length. Step four is gathering. After you find the spot where you want to start swagging, you now gather the linen, as you can see here. You want to keep holding onto the beginning spot with your left hand underneath as you gather the linen with your right hand. Notice as you see the underside of the linen here, the folds or the swags of the linen are not all the same length. This is okay, since no one will see this from the top. Step five is pinning. If you've ever pinned anything like a corsage or anything like that, it's very much the same. You'll keep your left hand underneath and with the pin in your right hand, you might even be able to do it without looking. Remember, the larger the pleats of the fabric you fold to pin, the less fabric you will need to pin through. You might end up grabbing a linen in a different way and that's okay, but we have found that this is the easiest way. Step six, place the overlay and in this video, it's a 120 inch round on the table and center it. Step seven, find the center front spot of the overlay. You might want to pay close attention here. You'll find the point where you're going to pin the overlay in a different way than you found it when you're pinning the base cloth. So you're going to grab the linen about 10 inches off the floor as we do in this video and hold it with your left hand as you gather with your right. Again, this video is for right-handers, so lefties reverse the directions. An easy way to measure this is the length of your hand from the wrist to the end of your middle finger. This is a great little trick to use because the length of your hand is a consistent measurement. And by leaving this tail, you'll give your swag a more dramatic look and less harsh and just people love this look. Step eight is pinning. It can get thick with all the layers, so just be careful. The larger the fold or pleats are, the less layers of fabric you'll have to pin through and the easier it's gonna be for you. So you can see after you swag, there is just a little bit of fabric that hangs down, which gives you a much more elegant look. And the last step is customizing the swag. Here, we tuck up the base of the swags to give it a fuller look. You don't have to do that, it's completely up to you. As you swag, just remember to start from the center and work your way out. Thanks for joining us and happy swagging. Have a fantastic event.